We consume it every day, at least I do. It's natural and a necessary component of our human nutrition, yet it is the only macronutrient known to have addictive qualities. I'm talking about sugar. It's addictive because it provides pure energy, so much so that it can actually be made into a rocket booster. That's a thing. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. So, here's what I'm thinking, right? If sugar can power a rocket, then how does it compare to gunpowder? Both are powders, both are energetic, and both are measurable. I'm going to pit normal table sugar up against a 22 long rifle to find out. So which contains more energy per weight? Sugar or gunpowder? Before we get into the nitty gritty, energy is energy. It just comes in different shapes and forms. You see, when we think about gunpowder, what do you think of? You think of explosions and really energetic events. But yet when we talk about food and a 2,000 calorie diet, it's not a big deal. Oh man, listen, it's a huge deal. A few episodes back, I blew the lid off of human nutrition by calculating that a 2,000 calorie diet contains as much energy as eight sticks of dynamite. All the numbers pan out, it's crazy. Nutritional energy is just insane. So I hope after today's episode, you have just a little bit of respect for sugar. Right, to begin, energy content of sugar can be determined chemically or through burning. One gram of sugar, just one gram, contains four calories. Calories with a capital C in the United States. One calorie contains 4,184 joules of energy. So one gram, or four calories of sugar, contains 16,736 joules. That's a tremendous amount of energy. In fact, it's enough energy to light a 60 watt light bulb for 280 seconds. Oof, that's one gram of sugar. So, how does gunpowder compare? Well, let's take a look at the 22 long rifle cartridge. It's a fun round. Your typical 22 projectile will weigh about two and a half grams and travel at around 1200 feet per second. When you run the numbers for kinetic energy in that bullet, or one half mass velocity squared, it contains not that much energy, actually. 160 joules of energy, to be precise. That would light a 60 watt light bulb for only two and a half seconds. If that seems a bit small, that's because it is. Just keep in mind that not all the energy in the gunpowder is transferred into the bullet. It's actually less than 50%. Enough energy is contained in that tiny bullet casing to not only propel the bullet downrange faster than the speed of sound, but also to blow the bolt backwards in pistols and reload the whole cycle. But fired out of a pistol, gunpowder means business. So how much energy is actually there? Obviously more than sugar, right? Well, a typical 22 will contain about 0.18 grams of powder. That's right, just 0.18 grams. Considering gunpowder has an energy density of 3,000 joules per gram, that means a 22 casing contains 540 joules of energy. 540 joules would run that same light bulb for 9 seconds. Ultimately, we can look at the numbers two ways. First, gunpowder's energy density is 3,000 joules per gram, while sugar's is 16,736 joules. So sugar contains 5.6 times as much energy as gunpowder. Or the second way, which will really put things in perspective. I mean, it'll blow your mind. One gram of sugar contains the energy of 31 22s. So you tell me, which is more energetic, gunpowder or sugar? I'll let the numbers speak for themselves. Enjoy that soda. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.